What's up, YouTube? It's back. It's got a different trigger in it. Trigger Tech, Diamond Tech, Trigger Diamond. This is pathetic. I can't remember what it's called now. It's Trigger Tech, Diamond Tech, Virginia Tech. I don't know. It's, um, this is bad for a video, isn't it? Especially when you're going to go over a trigger. It's a diamond tech. Yeah, I'll put it down in the description, obviously. Uh, I took the guys that hyper fire out of it because this is my wife's and she doesn't need a race gun trigger in her FM9. So I come across this pretty cheap, and I thought I'd try it out. If you got another one I'm looking at, I think I might try, depending on how I like this. Um, they have one that you can supposedly tune down to a pound and a half flat, just like this, and still have the same hammer follow. Uh, so I'm very interested in that. Of course, it's expensive. It's in the three plus range, but um, I just I love triggers. I love triggers. Um, so these are the first shots with this trigger. I've not shot anything um, with it yet. Obviously, I've shot this a bunch. This thing is just fun to shoot. It just really is. It is really fun to shoot. It looks cool, and it's just fun to shoot. But um, we'll see how this trigger, how this trigger acts. So let's see. Got going on here. All right, we're charged. These select, and these are 147s. All that ever runs through this are 147 grain. That's all I, that's all I ever run through it. So let's see if it'll hit. It should hit that plate, you would think. I don't know. I'm shooting it. That's 50 yards. Obviously, that's not 50 yards. Let's see how it runs a little bit. How high it's going to run. I mean, it, it, it's, it's very snappy. It's a very snappy trigger. Um, somebody with more gifted than I am probably can run it faster. And this was my first round through it. I think if you learn it, uh, you probably can get a good four or five round, three to five round bursts off, no problem. I don't know you'll ever get to stringing it just because this is snappy. It's real snappy the way that it is. That's why it seems like the guys they super dynamic. You know, it's a hybrid between a single and a two stage, and it kind of has a rolling break, so to speak. And it just lets you, you just can stay on that thing and just hammer it. And the Eclipse Hyperfire, although not the same, the same geometry, so forth, for whatever reason, it's easy to, it's not snappy like this one, which is fine for what this is. This is fine for some people. This would be like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever, whatever. But I'm a trigger snob, so it is what it is. But yeah, um, like I said, I'll put a picture of it up before I put the video up and show you a picture of it and the name and description. It's Diamond Tech Trigger Tech. It's Canadian. You believe Canadians made this? I want you to put down in the comments if you believe a Canadian had anything to do with building a trigger. And might I, might I say, this is not an open review as far as me holding it and showing it to you. It is, looks extremely well made. Extremely well made. Uh, cassette drop in. But man, it is. it looks like a print. It was, I can't remember what the price was. It was like in the 150 range, some, somewhere in that area. It wasn't very expensive, but um, 
um, yeah, it's it's a very very nice looking trigger, but you got to see it, it's kind of snappy, and uh, so yeah. All right, well, you know what the deal is. It's time has come. I'm sorry. I wish we could have had more time, but uh, time is the only commodity that you can never get back. The only one. All right, stay sober, stay vigilant. God bless. Ah.